bill to the House. Uh, Ken Bakshi. Mr. Speaker, I stand to support the regulatory reform appeal bill on its third reading, which is divided into 13 different bills. These bills, in fact, some streamline fabulous red tape and bring order and regulation to the regulatory environment. The government is strongly focused on assisting businesses by removing duplication and getting rid of unnecessary requirements and clearing up irregularities, thereby raising economic growth and living standards. New Zealand businesses face enough challenges without having to grapple with the compliance cost caused by unnecessary regulations. The world is changing dramatically. It is highly competitive and New Zealand needs to move with the time. It is vital that improved but essential legislation be set in place. The bill would amend 13 acts and remove duplications, unnecessary requirements and inconsistencies. Among the changes was a proposal to amend the Companies Act 1993 to allow companies to choose whether to use electronic shareholder participation. This could save New Zealand companies up to $1.5 million in total each year. Another change was to amend the Unit Trust Act 1960 so financial statements and accounts could be distributed electronically and amend the, fil and amend the Film and Video Publication Classification Act 1993 to modernize the labeling. That would reduce compliance costs by an estimate 2.4 million in the first year and 3.1 million in five years. 206 reg regulations will be repealed through the regulatory reform revocation order. These are the just three acts which will make enormous differences New Zealand businesses. These changes are made in single omnibus bill that amends all the affected acts at the same time. The national government led government promised would review existing regulations in order to identify and remove requirement, requirements and are unnecessary, ineffective and excessively costly. This saving will eventually be returned to the New Zealand economy benefiting all concerned. I commend this bill to the House. Uh, Mark Mitchell. Uh, 